Hey, I'm Tim. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to attempt to explain and show the differences in the types of graphics that you can work with in Lightburn, particularly a JPEG, a PNG, and an SVG. I'm going to explain what the differences are in the different types and why SVG is typically the best choice for your laser engraving. So let's get into Lightburn and take a look at it. Okay, so in the center of the screen here, I have a JPEG of mountains. And first thing you'll see is you have a, a white background on it. That's not necessarily going to engrave, but we don't need it to be there either. Let's take a look at the preview. Now you look at it, and you can see there's some random dots in the white area, which we don't want to see to begin with. But as we zoom in... It's just a lot of noise around the edges. It's not going to create a, a very nice graphic. And plus we have the white background, which interferes with what we're trying to do. Let's move this out of the way. Let's grab the PNG, which is also another bitmap type of graphic. Well, let's see what that looks like in preview. We don't have the extra noise around it, as far as, you know, the, the random dots in the middle. But it's still, I mean, this is... A, this is a little better on the edges. Actually, it's a lot better along the edges. But it's still not as good as we can get. Now let's bring in our SVG graphic and bring it up. And you see here, these lines are absolutely straight. It's not a dithered image. It's just a plane scanning across from side to side, turning the laser on and off where it needs to. And it just, for engraving, it just gives you a much cleaner... There's still a little bit of anti-aliasing going on here just because of the way the lines are. But by the time you get the thickness of the line on there, it's not very noticeable. And you could even clean it up more by doing a, a fill around the edge. But here's the biggest issue with, with the JPEG or the, the PNG. Is the way it's drawn, it's drawn with square pixels. So you've got all these... You see you got one here, I don't know if you can see that on your screen or not, but it's very, very dim. They get darker and darker and darker until it goes here. And that that's how it... That's how it accounts for the line along the edge. It's just a, a terrible jagged edge. Move that out of the way. Bring this one back in. And this is even worse. The, the blocks are just bigger. And it just does not give you... That's why this one's was such a bad image. But if we look at the... At the SVG, it's just a straight line no matter how much we zoom in. Because this... The difference between SVGs and bitmaps, which is what PNG and JPEG are, is those are both bitmap type images. SVGs are made using mathematical equations and curves and arcs and, and lines. And no matter how you scale them up or down, a straight line is always a straight line. A curve is always a curve. Where with the, the raster graphics, the bitmaps, it is drawn with pixels. It's drawn with square boxes. And like we showed over here, you know, you have your boxes and they just... They can't draw a straight, a straight line that's not perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. Now, one thing you can do that will make it a little bit better is you can click on it, right-click, go to Trace Image. And with the PNG, because it, it has a, a transparent background, you can click the Trace Transparency button. And we're going to delete the image. And click off. And now if we zoom in, it has now become an SVG line item. But you still see little bit of jaggies on here. Let's go line. That's not bad. With a simple black and white image you can usually get a pretty good tracing. Now let's go to this one, to the JPEG, and do the same thing. Trace image. And we can't trace transparency because there is no transparent layer. It's all black and white. So we're just going to go with the default settings here. 
and this worked pretty well as well. It's not quite like here, you don't, don't have a straight line. You can see it's, it's curved where it should be point, nice points. Okay, let's compare it over here to this. So here you've got beautiful points on your on your jag on your jaggies. So just comparing those two. We'll go right into the preview and compare the two of them next to each other. I mean, you can see this is nice crisp lines and this is thick lines. It's not a real, not a real great look. <laughs> Whenever possible, it's better to use the SVG in Lightburn. Well, and, and in lots of places. I mean, that's just the difference between the, the bitmap the raster type graphics and a, a vector graphic is it's so much crisper and cleaner. And like I showed, you can do a tracing on, on a, a bitmap on a JPEG or SVG and get a better product. And I almost always recommend doing that. You know, now you're not going you're not going to do that with a photograph of a, of a person, at least not in a standard sense like that. There are ways of doing it, but that's a, a much more advanced video than this is. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the different graphic types and why you would use one or the, one over the other, which is better in my opinion, and how, how to get there. Give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, um, come back for more Lightburn tips and tricks, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.